Hi and welcome to TLE Eliminators. At TLE, we believe that everyone is at a different stage in their competitive programming journey. Therefore, the topics required to level up are also different for everyone. To solve this problem, we have divided our entire competitive programming training into four levels. As you increase the level, the difficulty of the concepts that we teach you and also the practice problems that we give you also increases. You can choose to start learning from any of the four levels depending on your current skill set in competitive programming. Let's have a brief overview of all the four levels. Level one is for absolute beginners who are starting their programming journey and who don't even know one programming language. The concepts and the problems in this level are very easy. Focusing on making sure that the students become really comfortable in C++ programming language and topics like time and space complexity, mathematics, C++ standard template library, etc. Level two is for people who are comfortable in at least one programming language and who can solve one problem in most of the code forces division two contests. In this level, we focus on beginner to intermediate level concepts like recursion and backtracking, number theory, ad hoc problems, stacks, queues, prefix sums, etc. Level three is for people who have a fair bit of experience with programming, who are comfortable in implementing logics that come to their mind and who can solve at least two problems in most of the code forces division two contests. This is a more advanced course than level one and two, and it focuses on more difficult topics like advanced binary search, two pointers, sliding windows, advanced number theory, greedy problems, etc. Level four is our most advanced course, and it is for people who already have a lot of experience with competitive programming, people who have done at least 300 to 400 problems themselves on platforms like code forces. And it is primarily for people who can solve at least three problems in most of the code forces division two contests. In this course, we focus on four very, very important topics, dynamic programming, graphs, trees, and range queries. There are very few topics in this course, but we take a deep dive into each one of them, covering very advanced concepts like DP with bit masking, digit DP, binary lifting. Now, if you're planning to start your competitive programming training at TLE Eliminators, we recommend going for the most basic course, but you might already have some experience in competitive programming. In that case, you can go on to our website, check out the course page of each of these uh, levels, and you can first of all try to see for which level you're meeting all the prerequisites and you want to learn at least 50 to 60% topics of that level. So ideally, you should not feel very overwhelmed when we're teaching you all of these concepts. And at the same time, it should not feel like a cakewalk. You should feel a little challenged. Now we also have a recommended rating range of students for each of the levels. Again, if you're an absolute beginner, it does not matter for you. You can go for level one. But if you understand how code forces ratings work, then uh, zero to 900 rating people should be joining level one. 900 to 1100 people should be joining level two. 1100 to 1300 rated people should be joining level three and people who are higher rated than 1300 should preferably join level four. Now, this is just a recommended rating range. In case you want to be absolutely sure which level you should go for, you need to check out the prerequisites and you need to check out the details of the topics. I hope this video helps you clear all your doubts regarding which level you should go for. In case you still have doubts on this, make sure you message us on our social media handles and you can also write to us at this email address.